everyone, Draco Magnus here for another episode of Let's Play Virtue's Last Reward. In the last episode, we went down the ally route and hit a lock when we found Alice dead again. Anywho, in this episode, we're going to go down a different timeline, and I've given it some thought. Originally, I was going to go back to Into the CDs and pick the green door and go down that way and go through all that. But then I realized something. Clover said she would do anything we told her to. We could ask her about the information she's hiding from us to see what that would get us. I mean, it's possible she'll just go, nope, not going to do that. See you, losers. But there's also the op the chance of getting more intel. So it might be a good idea to go down the betrayal path just to see what we get out of it. Or maybe we'll just get, you know, a big old clover game over. But that is a risk I'm willing to take. So let's go to the AB game round two. Start. Hey, Sigma, I wanted to ask you something. Yes, Clover? I mean, I already know what you're going to ask me, so there's no real point in going over this, so let's skip on through it. You know, a thought occurs to me. Now that I'm actually seeing the text, she says she'll listen to anything we say. She didn't say she would do anything we say. So maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree going down here for intel. Hmm. I mean, I'm already here now. I could just go down this route. Eh, screw it. We'll go down the route because we're here. Why not? Three, two, one. Road has been recorded. Please wait. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. I'm curious about something. No, it technically doesn't mark it as me going down the Betray route until we go outside. I mean, that is a distinction, though. She'll listen to anything I have to say. But do I have anything of value to really tell her? You know what, screw it, we're just going to ignore that for now. Worst case scenario, I don't have the information I need to move forward in the other quest lines, and I look it up online, figure out I do have to go down the portray line and show it later. Let's just go into the CDs. I forget, which was the one we didn't, we can't go down? I guess I'll go down Red Door with Dio, I think that's the one. I could be wrong, let's find out. I'll take Dio, that means the Red Door for us. Whoa, betting on the dark horse, huh? Feels kind of weird to say that about myself. I mean, why, you're a cultist. And a killer! Anyway, might as well be polite. Thank you. I don't trust you at all, Dio. The only reason I'm picking you is so I can go through that red door that I haven't gone down yet. To see what possible new things could be on this certain timeline. I don't trust you. I don't like you. Fuck you, Dio. Also, you're welcome. Are you okay with that, Clover? Well, I don't really trust him, but... I don't trust him either, if I'm being honest with you. I might hit Betray just because I don't trust him. If Alice really wants to go with option B... Yes, this works fine. K, Tenmyoji, and I will take the green door. It's not great, but it's better than Dio. Hmm. I'm good. So who's getting Quark in this instance? Uh... Fi and Luna. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I'm willing to do option B. Quark should be fine if he's with Luna. Yeah, that's reasonable. Okay. I'll take 
take good care of him. I promise. What about Phi and K? No problems here. I'll take Quark and Luna and we'll do the blue door. I also approve of option B. I will take the green door, correct? Okay, he was thinking about it. I was like, what, do you have a problem with the green door? <laughs> yeah, good. Looks like we're all set. Kay nodded and handed Quark gently to Luna. Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Come on, guys! Hurry! The door's already closing! Coming! I know, I know! With seconds to spare, we leapt through the threshold. Two. One. Zero. Chromatic doors closing. Sorry about the pause there. Uh, one of my notebooks fell. I wanted to look at information that I had written down from uh, Dio's end, just to be sure I had everything I might need. Okay. What is this? There are three different doors. I've said this in every single timeline. It's, I mean, obvious. I don't know why the voice keeps reading that, but that's irrelevant. Which one do we take? The one that unlocks when I pull the lever. Dunno, but it looks like they're all locked anyway. So this is a dead end? Great. No, hold on. What's this thing? Well, it's got a lever on it. Don't get too attached. It's probably a lever. Okay, that's probably a joke, but I don't get it. Oh, wait, no, I get it now. Leave her. Sounds like leave her. Okay. All right, that's funny now that I understand the joke. Are you serious? Yeah, pretty good, huh? Eh, it's kind of hit and miss. I mean, I didn't really get it until I thought about it for a few seconds. Am I great or what? Mm. Huh? Huh? Hey, Sigma, is this chick... Simple or something? Mmm. I wouldn't say simple. I wouldn't rule it out. Let's just take it easy with her, okay? Hey! What kind of a gentleman has a secret conversation in front of a lady? Yeah, especially talking directly in front of her. That seems kind of rude. I guess it can't be helped, though. You boys just secrete secrets. But what is a man but a miserable pile of secrets? Alright, moving on. <laughs> well, she's having a good time. Oh man, I'm good. Sigma, please, let me give her a smack. Dio, no. I wouldn't do that. Neither would I. She'll fucking kill you. I mean, I know you got a knife on you and all, and she might not have a weapon, but when she finds one, she will kill you. What if it only makes her worse? Well, I think that's enough genius comedy for now. How about we throw that lever? Yes, l let's move on. I thought you said we should stay away from it. Well, you don't really think anything bad's gonna happen if you pull it, do you? Besides, it's not like we can go back. Fine. I'll do it. Alright, good luck, Dio. Ready? Kinda hoping you explode, but that's, uh, not what's gonna happen. Here. We. Go! Let's see, which door is it? Forward or to the right? Or to the left? Huh. The center one opened. Yeah, I figured as much. Looks like the others are still locked, though. Hmm. Through the center one, then. Forward! Forward, march! Without waiting for a response, Clover marched through the door. Dio and I shared a glance, shook our heads, and followed.
Laboratory. Interesting. Oh wait, that's where uh, Luna and I f and Fi, right? Because they're a pair. Yeah, that's where they originally found uh, Quark's cure. What is this place? Well, it said laboratory on the door, didn't it? I figure that means they're dissecting frogs or building mine rays or something. Sure. Let let's go with that. Laboratory, huh? Do you think they might research stuff like viruses here? They might. If they do... Good idea! We might be able to find some of that Accelivar, Accelivir, rather. Medicinal words are kind of hard. If we do, we can cure Quark! <laughs> you really think it'll be that easy? I mean, maybe. Then again, like I've said multiple times, I have the advantage of multiple timelines to know it that it will, in fact, be here, but, uh... Even if I didn't, we're in a laboratory, the odds are in our favor. Well, somebody's a positive thinker. Actually, no, that should be more sarcastic. Well, somebody's a positive thinker. Shut it. Just saying, this place hasn't exactly been set up for us to succeed so far. Well, we won't know until we look. So let's get started. Seek a way out! Alright, before we look into that, I am curious about something, because this was something I was thinking during the cutscene. Where was my last bit of secrets? Where did we get last? Was it the Sopro Beta stuff? No, I don't think so. Wasn't that... Wasn't the cooked food... Yeah, I'm drawing a blank on what the secrets were. I haven't edited that video yet. You know, it, it, that's something I'll worry about at a later point. What's this over here? There's something on this tray. An empty capsule. Looks like a ball. There isn't anything in it. Do you think we're supposed to stick this metal part into something? Maybe. Another empty capsule. One hemisphere of this capsule is transparent. It's empty. Okay. And seed. A cylinder full of seeds. They're thin and don't have any markings. Interesting. What's this on the floor? A binder. There's some paper inside. Let me see that. Hmm. It says, steps for dissecting a frog. You've found the steps for dissecting a frog. You can review them in the archive. Okay. What about this binder? A binder? Looks like there's two pieces of paper in here. Yeah. Let's see here. Hydroponics Research 1 and 2. You found Hydroponics Research 1 and 2. You can review them in the archive. Sure. Might as well take a look at them now. Preparations of Hydroponic Fluid and Seeds. Preparation 1. Prepare the five different hydroponic fluids. Dilute with the ratio. Ratio, rather. One part fluid, ten parts water. Each fluid has a distinct color. Preparation 2. Prepare the five types of plant seeds. Two long seeds and three round seeds. Okay. Research has shown that there is a distinct and repeatable relationship between the fluid used and the types of seeds. These relationships can be characterized by the following manner. Long seeds fail to germinate in three of the fluids. Round seeds in fluid B, yellow, and fluid D, cyan, failed to germinate. None of the marked seeds germinated if put in fluid C. Non-marked seeds failed to germinate in fluid A, red, or fluid B, yellow. When the striped seeds were put into the fluid D, cyan, and fluid E, uh, yeah, no, I was right, fluid E, blue, only one of them failed to germinate. Interesting. Steps for dissecting a frog. Steps for dissecting a frog. Remove the specimen from its 
from its preserving ethanol. It dispose of the ethanol by pouring it down the drain in the fume cupboard. The ethanol will be filtered and the gla gathered in the liquid waste tank beneath the cupboard. Begin dissection by using provided scalpel. Be sure to conduct your dissection inside the fume cupboard. Okay. Neat. So what's this thing that I was actually trying to look at? What's this thing? Who knows? Hmm. Well, so that. Uh, anything else I want to look at over here? Huh. Seeds. A cylinder full of seeds. They're round. One half is colored and the other isn't. Weird. Oh, no, wait, I get it. Half the seeds... Uh, uh, the label. Okay. So, what's this, then? Is this... a microscope? I tried looking into the eyepiece, but it's pitch black in there. Well, there are these four holes on top of it. Maybe we need to stick something in them? Maybe. It's black. There's nothing going on here. A machine that looks like a microscope of some sort. There are four circular holes on the top. wonder if I'm supposed to put something in the holes. Well, I guess the seeds aren't those things. That's fair, I guess. I didn't want to click on that. I wanted to click on the thing in the back there. Okay, well, so much for that then, I guess. Aha! I just had to get a little bit closer. Or not. Okay, well, look at all this stuff. You know that hydroponic research thing we just found? I think it said something about preparing different hydroponic fluids, and how each one had a different color. Do you think it was talking about these? Yes. The stuff in these five beakers appear to be undiluted hydroponic fluid. Apparently, I need to dilute it with water. Okay. Well, I should get water then. There's a large lever embedded in the wall. Okay, no, not gonna try to do anything with that, huh? There's a rectangular hole in the wall. Okay. And what about this mess up here? Man, look at all these pipes! I think they run down to the beakers underneath. There are handles where the pipes meet. If you turn the handle right, the liquid goes right. And if you turn it left, the liquid goes left. Okay. So maybe if you put it in the middle, half goes down the left and half goes down the right? What is this liquid then? Um... Probably water. What do the numbers mean? Are they supposed to indicate... Uh, are they supposed to indicate the amount of water that flows into each pipe? Out of each pipe, rather? There aren't any units, but it looks like 80-somethings of water come out from the center pipe. And then each pipe after the split gets 40. So we're supposed to regulate the flow of water with the handles that go to each... Fumble. So we're supposed to regulate the... So we're supposed to regulate the flow of water with the handles so that each beaker gets the correct amount. Yeah. How do you get the water to come out in the first place, though? I think you probably just pull the lever over there, on the right. Like this. Ah, good. After turning the correct levers, pull down on the lever on the right to pour water into the beaker. Okay, let's give it a shot. Uh, okay? I'm not sure how these numbers correspond with each other exactly. I know... Well, it mentions, like, ten parts water. Okay, prepare the five different hydroponic fluids. Dilute with the ratio one part fluid, ten parts water. Okay. So, three. That means that the red and yellow must require thirty water each. But that's not an option. So, I'm not entirely sure what to do here. Um, then there's... 20... 
Lockhart's water for two, I think. And then the five down there requires 50 parts water. And then three on the other side would be 30, if I'm thinking about this correct, but none of this is 30. We only got 40, 40, 80. So I'm not exactly sure what on earth you're supposed to do about that? I'm just gonna go from this and worry about this later. Damn, this is tough. Yes, yes it is. That's why I don't want anything to do with it right now. L let's just go back to collecting pieces of things. Seeds. A cylinder full of seeds. They're thin and have stripes. Okay. A binder. There's some paper inside it. It says, DNA extraction instructions. You found DNA instruction instructions. Extraction instructions, rather. You can review it in the archive. All right, let's do that now. DNA extraction instructions. Proceed through the following steps to extract DNA from a plant's roots and seeds. Place a plant material into the designated blender and activate blender. Once the material has been thoroughly broken down, add solution of saline water. The liquid will be filtered and dripped down into the beaker. Once it is done so, pour the ethanol into the beaker. DNA will collect at the bottom of the beaker. Use an empty capsule to collect it. Okay. So I guess that's what this is about. What is this thing? That thing on the top looks like some sort of industrial strength lid. If you open it up, it looks like a blender or something. I don't think you use it for cooking, though. Maybe it's for scientific experimentation? You are in a lab. Hmm. Yeah, you could probably pulverize just about anything with something this heavy duty. Alright. Cool. So now I know about that, I guess. What's all this then over here? These look like something you might put specimens in. Maybe, but there's nothing in them right now. Empty containers. All of them empty. Aha! Saline solution! Uh, hold on. There wasn't a gulp there, but I figured I'd get the sip sound. This is saline solution! What the hell, Clover? What if that had been poison or something? <laughs> you worry too much. You don't worry enough! Don't you know the first rule about being in a lab? Do not taste anything! Like, anytime you go in a lab, that is one of the first things they tell you. I just pretended to drink it. And how do you know it's saline solution? It says on the underside of the lid, silly. Oh. Okay. Also a frog. Look, it's Lord Hoppington. Don't give it a name. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to dissect it. Aw. Looks like he's dead. Yeah, he's probably been preserved. I think the liquid inside is ethanol. How do you know? The smell. Really? Yeah, it smells like disinfectant, right? And besides, scientists preserve stuff in ethanol all the time. Preserve frog, huh? Hey, wasn't that the thing- Fumble. Hey, wasn't that thing you found called steps for dissecting a frog? I'd say it's pretty clear what we're supposed to do next, wouldn't you? Yeah, probably have to dissect the dang thing. More empty containers, still an empty container, and last but certainly not least, an empty container. Is there more saline solution down there? It looks like it. Some beakers. Looks like they're empty. We probably won't need them then. Roots. What the hell is this? A dead spider? Maybe it's a fake beard seen a person with a beard like this? Yeah, my grandpa had one. It looks like a root. It's 
Probably some kind of preser uh, preserved specimen. Okay. Well, we need saline solution to do something with that, I believe. Seeds! A cylinder full of seeds. They're round and striped. Okay. I don't remember all the rules, but we'll get to them again in a moment. The rest of those are empty containers. Don't know what... Oh, okay. So you're not going to let me look at any of this stuff, huh? Nope. Not like I wanted to see. Okay, now you let me over here. Okay. Can I look at the thing I wanted to look at now? Originally? No. Okay, I guess we're not looking at the thing I wanted to look at. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, back to you. So. Roots. Okay, time to throw this root in the mixer. Okay, and the other thing I believe is saline solution. Alright, done! Okay. Alright. I'll just pour the saline solution in here. There's a funnel above the beaker. Filtered liquid comes out of it. Eventually. Okay. What was the other thing I needed to do for that? Was that everything? Place, since the has been broken down, add saline. Liquid will be filtered and drip down the beaker. Once it's done so, pour ethanol into the beaker. DNA will collect at the bottom. Okay, so I need some... Did not mean to do that, but while I did that, let's do that. Okay. So now I need some ethanol. Well, I mean, the frog has some ethanol in it. What are we supposed to do next? What does the manual say? Well, step number three says something like this. The liquid will filter into the beaker. Add ethanol to the liquid. I guess you should pour it in the ethanol, then. Mixer used for scientific experimentation. I guess I need to put ethanol in. I... Okay, is there an empty thing of ethanol I didn't see? Saline solution, frog. Okay, I guess I don't have... You know, saline solution, I do not have ethanol. Well, I guess we can't do anything with that. Is there anything of note down there? Doesn't look like it really... Oh, there's more over here. Okay, got more seeds. A cylinder full of seeds. They're round and don't have any markings. Okay. This must be some kind of waste tank. It looks like a thigh tank. Are you for real? Okay, and that must be where uh, the ethanol goes. Oh, hey. A scalpel. Well, with this information, that would mean... I, I mean, I found a scalpel. Alice was stabbed with a scalpel in the other... In the other timeline. So that means whoever came in here has probably stabbed Alice. It's a scalper! What? Sorry! It's a scalpel! Scalpel, rather. A scalpel. Okay. Pretty fancy tray. Is that a cat playing with a ball of yarn? No, it's a lion playing with a sun. Are you even looking? Okay. I was gonna say at it, but let me read that correctly. Are you even looking, cat it? It's a lion! How are you not... How are you not kidding that? Ugh, what? Sorry. It's a sort of tick I picked up when I was a kid. Whenever I talk about cats, I kind of... Well, you heard. But that's pretty weird. A tray. There's an image of a lion engraved on it. Okay. Can I put the frog on it? Probably not. Frog preserves ethanol. 
Chances are, the steps for dissecting a frog that I found are related to it somehow. Okay, well, we'll look at that in more detail later. For now, there's these weird tanks to look at, if it'll let me look. Let me look at the tank game. Oh, fine, be a jerk and don't let me look at it. See if I care. I do care. I care a lot. Huh? Why'd they put a speaker here? That's a drain! What's wrong with you? Oh, I see you got the frog there. Plenty to take it out, I assume? You should probably pour the ethanol down the drain first. Um, okay. I'll just pour the froggy ethanol into the drain. Oh, my God. 